King Jesus, King Jesus. Okay. Hey, I want to talk about uh, all these false flag attacks that uh, the neocons trying to pull off. They've been trying to pull them off around the world. Benghazi was one. And there's others that uh, different whistleblowers are talking about on the internet. You can do the research yourself, find out of all the uh, thwarted false flags that they've uh, attempted. As a matter of fact, uh, Ferguson, uh, Missouri was a false flag where they killed the boy in order to spark off a race riot. But the black people there had so much confidence in Obama that they didn't uh, spark it off as they thought they would. So uh, they're really desperate at this point to uh, come up with some kind of reason to take us to war some kind of compelling reason to take us to war. And so these psychopathic power mongers are at the end of their wits to try to save themselves from the meltdown, the economic meltdown that is occurring because they're losing control of the currency, the base currency in the world. They have to start a war in order to maintain supremacy against the Chinese, the Russians, the BRICS uh, group. So they've decided that they are, I understand, as being reported, that they want a false flag nuclear attack on an American city. If you look at history, you know that uh, they don't mind killing a bunch of people. Look, look what they did in Hiroshima in Nagasaki, Dresden, they don't mind. The reason you don't know about it, it's a secret. You know, it's a secret. That's why the papers don't report it. They know about it, but they don't report it because it's a secret. You know, all the papers are owned by Jews. They're, they're doing no investigating. They're reporting no investigating. So all they do is read back scripts that's been handed to them by the powers that be. You know, they're also trying to plot to kill Obama. Obama know it, but he's been able to dodge it all this time. Not only that, he's been able to prevent a terrorist false flag attack, a significant terrorist false flag attack in this country since he's been president. And he's prevented them overseas. Remember, you had Oklahoma City during the Clinton administration. During uh, the Bush administration, you had the um, London Valley, Spain, and Mumbai bombings, plus the New York City bombing. All of those were false flag attacks. And the one in uh, New York took us to war. And the others were done in order to take those folks to war. So Obama has been super effective. And that's why they want to kill him. So it's being run by the black ops people. You know, most of uh, the secret services are privatized now and run by corporations. And Bush has his hands and Cheney has his hand in those corporations. You know, um, the government spy agencies are run by corporations now called Bush privatizing. You know, the conservatives believe in, in privatizing everything, health care, secret services, prisons, everything, so that they can run it outside the government and not be accountable to the government. They want government money without accountability. That's worse than welfare. That's just a giveaway. But they want to be the ones calling all the power shots over your lives and not be accountable. So all the black operations are run in private hands now. As a matter of fact, the wars that are going on are done by corporations, American corporations, mercenary corporations who hire mercenaries for uh, astronomical sums of money. They might uh, get $25,000 a month, you know, for, for being in the war zone. That's way more than our troops get. So every trained... Uh, money-hungry soldier that gets out of the military runs to these people to go fight their wars. That's why when you see pictures of the so-called terrorists, they always have masks on so you can't see their faces. And see, they're really Western 
uh, uh, mercenaries that are fighting. Now I understand that John uh, uh, John McCain has agreed to allow them to bomb uh, the city of Phoenix in his home state of Arizona with a nuclear bomb. Yeah. Then he'd, ha he'd have the uh, uh, position in the Congress to demand a war against somebody. Most likely he'll, he'll blame Iran. So for all you people in Arizona, the home uh, of the famous Sheriff Arpaio, some of you other creeps have been voting this creep in to office. He might actually really sell you out and have them drop a nuclear bomb on your head so that he can uh, please his masters, the Jews. So that's, that's what I have to say. Remember that uh, Phoenix is located on the 33rd parallel, and that's a significant number and location for, uh, for all uh, you Illuminati freaks. Okay.